Okay. I think we're recording again. I'm literally doing this right after I just recorded the TikTok episode. And don't worry, I'm going to be checking my flash drive periodically to make sure it doesn't stop recording on me again. Um, because this is the episode, you know, that I had recorded like three quarters of the episode and realized at some point that it had stopped recording. Don't know how long into it it stopped. Um, so I had to record the whole episode again because I had no idea when it stopped recording and I was like, well, I'll just start all over. Um, cause there's no way I'm going to get it to flow well if I try and pick up where it left off. Um, because I do these in one take. I just talk for like an hour. Um, and then edit out the parts where there's like no sound or it sounds it's dumb or <laughs> repeat myself or whatever um so i i don't i don't like if i have to put two parts together because i just feel like it won't sound as natural and like i think this is kind of be like my stream of consciousness um and if i'd like have to put like two different parts together then it's not really my stream of consciousness is it it's, it's two different streams of consciousness consciousness and where's the fun of that um <laughs> but yeah welcome to my podcast <laughs> welcome to the podcast um if this is your first episode listening i'm alicia i'm a bgsu student making a podcast talking about popular music's effect on popular culture and popular culture's effect on popular music um and just music in general um i love talking about music and so i'm doing a do a project and then this is the project <laughs> um if you haven't listened to my previous three episodes, go give those a listen. I have an intro episode where I talk about um, genre and whether or not genre is still a still a thing that we should be um, considering and thinking about and like using labels and such. That's a horrible explanation. Go listen to the episode for kind of a better explanation. Um, and episode we're talking about TikTok and its power and its effect on music. Um, and now I'm here to record another episode. And uh, it's going to be about mainstream versus independent music. Um, because I felt like it related really well to the um, TikTok episode. And I have a lot of thoughts around that still. So I'm just like, I'll just record this right after it so I can kind of tie those episodes together. Um, and yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, that's um, what I'm going to talk about today. Um, because I feel like nowadays, um, it's, it's a topic, <laughs> um, there's, like, different, I don't know, <laughs> words, um, I feel like with the rise of apps like TikTok and stuff, um, there's becoming this, like, I don't know. Um, it's becoming, like, more obvious the ways that people can gain, um, a following without the need of, like, a major label or anything. Um, I'm gonna kind of use the terms indie and mainstream music very loosely. I'm gonna, in a way, I'm gonna talk about it as, like, people who are, like, unsigned or have, like, really small labels, like, um... Like, they aren't, like, signed with a major, major label. And, like, people who are necessarily signed with a bigger label. Um, like, a Columbia Records. Like, a Universal Music. Like, that kind of stuff. Um, like, like Sony, I think is something. Um, Republic. Like, names that, like, you, you hear of and you, like, know. Um, I'm gonna talk about, like, whether or not there is still a need to, um be a part of those um whether or not uh, how much of a need there is to be part of those and like whether or not being signed to those um affects how popular you are um how big you can make it um because if you listen to the TikTok episode I it's it's becoming less and less of a need um I'm I'm gonna be like just 
this episode's gonna be very much all over the place. It's gonna be this one's gonna be very much just a stream of consciousness. Um, and just because something I've thought about and something that like as someone who listens to the pop punk and punk and emo and like alternative and stuff um and a lot of bands and things i listen to aren't signed necessarily to a big label they're independent or um they're part of like smaller labels like a label like hopeless records or like um fearless records um pure noise equal vision um if you know any of those labels, like, they're just, Fueled by Ramen, st- like, Fueled by Ramen is, like, I feel like they're almost, like, a major label at this point. I don't know, um, because they're so big, so many big bands are signed to them, um, but, um, yeah, and there are other, and there are also, like, bands and stuff who are independent, and they're doing great, so I think it's just, I think it's a really interesting conversation to have um, because um, because it's like when you think of like becoming a music star, you think you have to get this big record deal and you gotta like get this big team of people. Um, but I, I think nowadays people are realizing that maybe that's not necessarily a need anymore. Um, and this is kind of what I talk about. Um, I don't know if this episode's gonna make any sense at all. Um, but it's just something very interesting to talk about, and something that I that I feel like if you aren't aware of, I think it's um something that maybe you want to hear about, and something you want to like learn about, and something you want to do your own research into, um, because. Um, I think as social media and internet becomes more of a way that people become popular in the music industry and the world of music, I think we're going to see a lot more artists not necessarily go for, not really become like goal oriented as gaining a huge record deal. Um, I could be completely wrong. Um, I don't think they're ever going to go away, but just, just some thoughts on it. So, I'm not sure this episode will be as long as my other ones, um, just because, like I said, it's going to be kind of like a stream of consciousness, um, but, yeah, I mean, let's just go ahead and jump into it. So, I talked about my TikTok episode, how I feel like the, like the playing fields aren't necessarily leveling out, but it's becoming more equal in the way that through social media artists who are to have these deals and these huge teams and all this money behind them can be can reach us might same amount of people as someone who doesn't um because the power of the internet can make something go viral very quickly and reach so many people um And they can have millions of views, thousands of followers, and a fan base just as easily as someone who makes, who has that much people and feels the same thing on TikTok or social media and puts a bunch of money behind it and ads behind it. Um and just not go viral, not hit as many people, and it doesn't connect with many people, and maybe they get the same amount or less as the person who is doing it on their own. And, um, and it's, and it's, like, crazy to think about, because if you look back at, like, years ago, like, you, like, different, when different genres were popular, there was all these labels. Like, if you go back to, like, when, like, blues music and uh, the early days of, like, rock and stuff were popular, th- you, like, you were, st- like, to make a music, like, you had to be signed. Like, you were you were signed to someone. You were signed to a label. You were signed to a producer 
or some a studio or something and you made music that way and then they promoted you you went on like tours um and you got radio play and you sold rec- and they made your records and all this stuff and like if you didn't have that it was like you weren't you weren't making music like because it was just harder to have access to ways to make music um and to promote yourself like you needed to have those teams of people behind you um but nowadays it's so much easier to make music at home like you can make music with your laptop you can make music you can buy your own microphone you can buy your own um, laptop and audio software and instruments and ways to record and you can rent studio space if you wanted um you can have your friends help you out and you can make your own music you can um put it on spotify or apple music or youtube or soundcloud um and just do it yourself and you can promote yourself on social media you can um just do it all on your own and you can gain a following you can try and book yourselves at, like, local venues. Um, like, you can just do it all by yourself or with a small team of people and have a very successful career, and it can grow, and then you can be independent. Like, you can be independent in your whole career. You can um, just do it your own, and you can be very successful and have complete control over, th- over things um, from the start. And if that works out, you can have your whole career be that way. You can grow a following in, like, your hometown, and you can grow, and you can, you know, try and get, like, an opening gig on, like, a tour, and then you can travel around, like, the area and grow and, like, promote yourself on social media and, you know, reach out to places nearby and try and gain shows, um, try and do shows and whatnot, and you can just do it all yourself and be successful. Um, and promote yourself on social media and grow that way without having to be signed to a label from the start. Um, it's crazy to think that, like, it's, like, right? Like, it's crazy to think that, like, that's how, that's how things are. Like, that's how things are nowadays. Like, like, you can literally make your own so- your own song at home with your own equipment and post it on SoundCloud or some sort of streaming music service and promote it and people can listen to it and grow and follow you and you can just keep making music that way and growing yourself that way and reach just as many people as if you were to go sign with like Atlantic Records. Like it might take a little bit more time and a little bit more work but it can happen um, because of social media, because of the internet, and because of the technology that we have access to now. And because it's so much easier to get your own things. Like, it's still expensive to buy things, but it, you can do it. You can work towards it. And if you really believe in yourself and that's what you want to do, you can do it and have success. And have complete control. Because once you go and sign to a major label. And depending on the contract. You can lose. Like freedoms. You could lose the ability to kind of make what you want. Like you could. Like sure you can. But like you're still under contract. You have to be with them for a certain amount of time. You have to like. They have to want to promote it. They have to want to like book you on things. You They're going to want to control how you look. They're going to probably gonna want to have control over your social media they're probably gonna want to book you a social media manager like they're gonna get you a publicist like it, like all that's really great um but you're gonna lose some of that, con- that artistic freedom and if that's something very important to you you can do it on your own um and it's like and that's like crazy to think that nowadays you can do that and be successful because um I mean, if, like, when you reach a certain level of stardom, like, like, signing with a major label is, like, it can be very beneficial, right? Like, you have access to so much more stuff, like, 
they have so much more money, so they can promote you a lot more um, if they want to. Um, they can pay for ads. They can pay um, to get you on shows, and they can book you different places and get your radio gigs and get your really cool photographers and book you with the best songwriters and producers and all of that. But at the end of the day, how much say are you going to have in, like, what actually comes out like they're gonna probably like they, they like write your songs and you know um create your music but at the end of the day if depending on what label you're with and what contract you're with and things like how much say are you gonna have in the final product like if you want to do something real crazy are they gonna let you do it like are they gonna let you have complete freedom probably not um like and they're gonna, you know, control, like, when things are released, they're gonna control, like, um, they're probably gonna have final say in, you know, what songs are singles, um, ultimately what, you know, your artwork for your album's gonna look like, what things sound like, like, they're gonna, like, try to try and make you into a certain image and what, how they want you to look, um, because they're gonna, their ultimate goal is to make money. Like, right? Like, that's their goal. Their goal is to make money. Um, because everything's about money. And I'm not saying every record label does that. Every management team like that. No, I'm just saying, like, the big picture is money, right? Um, so if they don't, if they don't think what you want to do is going to make them money, they're probably not going to let you do it, right? They're going to, like... They're going to edit it to fit what they want it to look like, what they want it to sound like. Um, and some labels are probably going to give you more freedom than the others. There's probably some really great labels and some really great teams out there. Not, I don't I don't know what goes on behind the scenes at labels or, like, I don't work in the music industry, right? But when you have a bunch of people working with you, and around you and working to try and make you the biggest star that can you're gonna have to give up some freedom right you're gonna have to give up some um ability to like choose maybe what you wear or what single they're gonna release first or maybe ultimately what you want to call the album they're gonna be like oh let's go with this instead right um because they're gonna try and make it sell they're gonna try and promote it in a way that they think is going to make it become a hit. They're going to try and format to what's popular and what they think is going to be number one. Um, and the bigger you get, the more control they're going to want to have because they want to keep you there. right? They're going to grow, keep making you want to grow, and then once you, they want you to stay at number one, right? Or they're going to keep you there until like the next, next it thing comes along. Um, Whereas if you're doing it independently, um, or maybe with a smaller label, you're going to have more control, right? You're going to be able, especially if you're on your own, you're going to choose what song gets released first. You're going to choose the name of the album. You're going to choose the artwork. You're going to you're gonna have control over that. And that's, that's, and that's really great, right? have say and everything from the start you're gonna have say in what's what you do you're gonna have say in how you look how you sound um what you want to promote what how you want to look i mean just everything um and you can do it on your own schedule and you can do it without having all these people telling you what to do. Um, and what I mean by, like, of course, you're going to be influenced by how people are reacting to your things. Like, right, right? Like, that's totally different. Like, how people react to you, being influenced by what's on social media, how people are acting to you, that's totally so, so, something totally separate. But you're not going to have a manager, a publicist, a producer, all these people telling you what to do. You're going to be, like, your own everything and it can be really stressful right it's gonna be all that work it's gonna be it's gonna be hard but in the end 
the product that you put out is going to be what you want to put out, right? Um, you're going to have the ability to create your own image and be the artist you want to be and do it for, um, do it because you want to do it, right? You're going to do it because it's what you want to do. It's how you want to sound. And you can post stuff on social media and be successful. You can post a TikTok, right, about the song you wrote. And it hits the right amount of people and it gets on people's for you pages. And the peop- and your supporters go up, right? Now, of course, the risk is you don't have the team behind you to keep putting you on different things, right? Getting you on shows and getting you getting ads everywhere to make sure you're still in people's minds. But what you are going to probably gain is enough loyal supporters who are going to help promote you, right? You're going to gain people who see what you're doing, who like what you're doing, and they see you're doing it on your own, and they're going to promote you. They're going to support you. They're going to comment on your things. They're going to share your things, and you're gonna wa- they're going to watch you grow. They're going to help get you to where you want to be because they like what you're doing, right? And that's all free, right? That's all free promotion. Um, you're not paying, you know, to have, your, uh, have an ads out there. You can. You can pay to have something promoted. You can no pay for certain things like to try and like book a show they might there's probably some some sort of fee to like play a show somewhere or whatever um but at the end of the day you you're your own boss right you can um you can have control over things right you don't like and g- and if you are, like, intro, like, <laughs> um, and there are times when people go viral on social media, right? They get them some sort of big following, and people are talking about them. They get booked on things, right? They get booked on radio shows. They get booked on like Jimmy Fallon, and asked to be on like Good Morning America and stuff, and they get interviewed for like online things, because that's what people are fascinated by, right? Nowadays, people don't people who get big on social media are just as much of a celebrity as like the taylor swifts right if you have a song that's a hit on tiktok people are gonna want to talk to you people are gonna want to interview radio is gonna want to play you because they're gonna get because that's where people that's where like the younger audience is getting their stuff from that they're, they're listening to what's on social media they're listening to what's on tiktok so they like, well, we want people to listen to our stuff and watch our things and read our stuff. So we're going to talk about what's big on social media. Because nowadays, the celebrities that a lot of younger people care about are the ones who are on social media. Sure, they do care about some of the like bigger movie stars and artists who have, or bigger names, right? Who are through studios and labels and stuff. But they care just as much about that person who's dancing on their For You page. They care just about that singer that I saw cover that song they like, right? They, 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 they care about those people, and that's where they're putting their attention to because they're spending their time on social media rather than, like, watching movies and watching cable and stuff, right? So if you get big on social media, and you're doing it on your own, you're going to get people reaching out to you to talk to you. Right, if you look about, like, I'm recording this, and the big person on TikTok right now is not a music artist, but it's Axel, who lives in that really small apartment in New York. Who knows if he's still talking to town when this episode goes live, right? He was got, he's got, and he got interviewed by the New York Times. He was in the New York Times actual paper. He was on some other stuff, um, interviewed by other people, because people liked his stuff on social media, because he got rejected by Juilliard and, like, by his peanut butter off the street or whatever, and he lives in a small apartment. Right? That's, a, that's who the news is caring about right now some a tiktok person who lives in new york city and then he got all these other things because of that because he went viral on tiktok right so nowadays like putting your focus to become successful as an independent artist may end up paying off a lot more than 
trying to get signed to a big label. I'm not saying you shouldn't try and get signed to a big label, right? Because there are so many more benefits. Like, there's so many more resources and so much more money available. And, like, things are probably going to move a lot faster by going through a major label, right? But that's not the only option you have anymore. There's so many more options, right? You can go viral and you can do it all on your own and put your put your song on spotify and try and get some playlists and promote yourself through social media and like by having a youtube by having a tiktok by becoming a presence on instagram and twitter and all the other things and promoting yourself that way right and then trying to spend all your time just sending out demos to labels and getting seen that way um because you can just as you know go play an open mic somewhere and record that and post it on YouTube and that can get you so many views, right? You can do some covers and post those on TikTok and YouTube and gain followers that way and gain the support that way and do it all on your own and make merch and do it all that and like just do it from home and do it on social media and online. And then maybe gain the attention of a another of labels that way or gain the attention of another um artist that way and maybe they want to work with you like because there's just so many more ways to gain assistance to gain traction to gain support than going through the major labels and trying to make an album and getting on the radio right um because not necessarily getting a song on the radio isn't going to mean success anymore right because so many more people are listening to Spotify and creating their own playlists and doing it that way rather than, like, listening to, you know, their local radio station, right? Um, there definitely are people who still do that. Um, but that's not the number way, one number one way anymore. Getting on, like, a top Spotify playlist is probably going to get you more traction than maybe getting on your local radio station. Um, or getting on, like, a any sort of radio play, right? Getting on, like, Spotify's recommended play playlist or viral playlist or top pop or whatever is on Spotify or Apple Music. It's probably going to get you more followers or traction or plays than just focusing on getting added to radio play. Getting a song like Trends on TikTok is going to get you more plays. So, um... there's just the need to go through a label is not as high anymore and um and there's nothing wrong like I said before with getting a label and signing with someone if it as long as you works for you and it's gonna work for what you want to do um I'm just saying you can get so much success on your own before signing with a label, whether that's a major label or like a smaller um, label, right? Whether that's like with a Hopeless or a Fearless or a whatever, or it's with an Atlantic or a Columbia or a Universal Music. Um, there's just so much more available. Like, there's, like, you can get so far in your career, like, getting a following before you sign with someone that you don't have to make that your number one focus work on growing your support and if you do get signed to a label they will come with you and then your on your audience will only grow and that's i mean i'm just someone who isn't in the music industry i'm just saying with the ability and the resources out there nowadays to anyone who wants to make music and gain a following like there's just so much more out there and resources and ways to do it that becoming focused on a label isn't necessarily what you have to do Um, because you can make music from home you can make music from your bedroom from a friend's equipment from all that stuff you can make your own merch you can you can do it all yourself from your phone from your laptop and it's it's just the technology we have available the resources we have available at our fingertips nowadays is outstanding and people should take advantage of it 
and and people should be supporting smaller artists, right? Like support those people who are doing it on their own. Um because they deserve it. They deserve all the support and don't talk about those artists that you love who are smaller who are just starting out because that's going to mean so much more and do so much more than like you sharing like that new Taylor Swift song, right? Like I Taylor like loves all the support she has, right? Like she loves her fans. But you sharing that Taylor Swift song really isn't going to do as much as if you share that cool new singer songwriter you found on YouTube who has a hundred followers, right? That's going to mean more. She's going to reach out to you and thank you. And you're going to, you're going to probably have a conversation and talk about music and you're going to, it's a more personal interaction and do a lot more for her than you sharing, you know, a new Post Malone song, right? Because they already have so many followers and teams and stuff and they might not even see it right but that person who has 200 followers is gonna probably see that and appreciate it and be extremely thankful um and you can even watch them grow up right you can watch them grow from a small little 200 followers to you know thousands some even millions of people one day whether they do it on their own or with a label or whatever like and that's so cool to watch and and it's more personal, a bigger connection, and and it's like you just feel really cool when you find something new and something small, and um, and you help them grow and help them and help support their career, right? Um, and help them become the num- and help them become the artists they want to be, and you can show them that they don't they can do it on their own that they don't need you know, a bunch of money behind them or this big name behind them, right? They can, by showing your support, you can t- help reassure that they can do it on their own and help reassure the, I- reinstate the idea that being independent is great and you can be successful and help them push towards their dreams and help them do what they want to do. Um, so... I don't know. I don't know if this made any sense at all. Um, But. Yeah. I don't know. But, like, also, like, if you do it on your own, things can happen so much quicker, quicker, right? You can, like, make something and get it released within, like, days and weeks. Whereas, like, if you go through a label, like, and have all these people, like, there's going to be so much, do so much longer, right? Like, unless, like, you, like, are so big and you're, like, you're totally something you do what you want, right? Like, there's going to be, like, hoop you have to jump through and, like, you have to get it approved by so many people. Whereas, like, you can make a song today, have it done, and have it released tomorrow, right? You put it on YouTube and it's out there in a couple hours. So, like, you have complete control. You can release things when you want. You can release things at 2 in the morning if you really wanted to. You could wicker something now and have it released in a couple hours. You can release something in the middle of the night, to middle of the day, whenever you want. Not with you if you have a bunch of people who aren't telling you what to do. And a bunch of, like, teams. So. If you want things done quickly, do it on your own. You can do it on your own schedule. Release it when you want. So. It's just it's just a thought. Um. Just thoughts. Um. Another point to make. <laughs> um. But, yeah. I guess that's. I don't know how long this episode is. I, could, I think it's probably short. But. Um, it's just I wanted to talk about that stuff because um, I'm very passionate about like supporting local and independent artists um, because a lot of times I think people overlook those and don't see them as talented or like want to pay attention to them because they're, they're fed all this stuff from like bigger labels because they have the money to promote them but you should always be on the hunt for smaller things smaller independent stuff things that you connect with and um People are making what they want to make and promoting themselves and doing the work themselves because they're really cool and lovely and um, sometimes some, there's some really cool and awesome and powerful stuff out there. Um, so look for, for, look for that, support that. You know, continue to support whoever you're still supporting now, um, whether they're f- independent or through a label or whatever, but 
don't ignore or go or scroll past those artists who are doing it on their own um because they deserve some love and support and who knows it could be the next big thing and um you might, might want to be there to watch them grow so um i just wanted to support that um so yeah if you have anyone who's um doing it on their own um send them my way because i would love to check them out and support them um and give them a shout out um if you're making music on your own, let me know. I'll check it out. I'll talk about you. Because I love it. I love finding new music. I love supporting independent stuff. Um, people who are doing it themselves. And, yeah. Um, and, you know, let me know your thoughts on this. You, know, you completely disagree with what I'm saying. Um, but, yeah. Um, thank you so much for listening. As always, my social media and email is below for you to check out. Follow me there. Email me there. Share your thoughts with me just be respectful and i'll be respectful back um because i'm always open to hear people's opinions and as long as we're respectful let's have an open conversation um and yeah um thanks so much for listening go check out my other episodes if you haven't already stay tuned for more episodes and yeah i really appreciate you all for listening and um, sharing it if you have and telling your friends about it um i'm having fun doing these episodes and i hope you enjoy listening as well um and if you have anything you want me to talk about let me know because i'm very open to talking about different things so yeah, thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you next episode. I'll listen, hear, I'll talk to you on my next episode. I won't see you, but you'll hear me. But yeah, and yeah, bye guys. <laughs>